Why is honey not vegan? Honey, uh, good question. Um, Bob, if you go to my website uh, in the All About Veganism section, really utilize that to find answers to tons of things. Here's a bees and honey section. Real quickly, most people don't realize that bees are actually vomiting for a reason. And I'm not being sarcastic when I say vomit. Honey is a regurgitation. So number one, you should not be eating somebody else's vomit. And don't tell me, ah, oh, it's no big deal, because if I brought you a plate of food and sneezed on it first, you'd freak out. <laughs> I see people at restaurants, vegan and non-vegan restaurants, I see people, oh, there's a piece of hair in my food, oh my god, a piece of hair. And then people are taking bottles of vomit going, hey, just put this on my oatmeal and on my syrup, man, it's great. <laughs> okay, it's vomit, it is not food. Now, bees, the drone bees, the worker bees will only vomit if the queen bee is present at the apiary. I think most people know apiaries are not enclosed environments. Not like a factory farm warehouse building where there's 50,000 chickens inside and they can't get out, or a fence around the cows where they can't get out. Apiaries are open because the bees have to go out and pollinate and then come back. Okay, so how do you make sure though the queen bee always comes back and stays there? This is the sickest thing that we do to any animal. If you ask me to rank it, all the cruelty, and I don't like to, cruelty is evil, but if you have me rank it, the worst thing we do to any animal happens at an apiary on a bee farm. They actually rip the wings off of the queen bee. They rip her wings off. It'd be like me cutting off your legs today to make you stay and listen to this piece. Taking away somebody's mode of transportation is evil. And this is standard practice. You can go online, there's a queen bee supply company. People, they actually order queen bees. They send them, send them the queen bees in the mail in a little ventilated box. As soon as they get the box, they open it up, they rip her wings up. So she stays there. Now, they also kill off the queen bees at around three years of age, even though in the wild, queen bees live to their five or six. And now we're back to the mass murder, or to the murdering. Just like cows in the dairy industry are killed off at three to seven, even though cows can live to be 18 to 25. We're always murdering these animals way before their lifespans are over. So that's the main issue that's going on there. We're stealing something that doesn't belong to us. We're harming the queen bees. Now, just so you know, they are vomiting for two reasons. One, it's insulation for their hive, and it's food for themselves, or for their young, especially during the winter, you know, cold, cold, cold season. Now, if you go to uh, this link, the bee industry is mean and murderous, uh, there's a link to an essay on that link from an Ohio State animal agriculture professor, James Tu, D.E.W. I love getting research, by the way, from the abusers, like that egg farmer I showed you. They always admit the truth at some point. Every animal researcher will always say during their protocol essay, this can never be extrapolated to human beings, da da da. So they always admit the truth at some point. Well, this guy, an animal ag professor, by the way, does not care about animals. Okay. He teaches kids how to kill animals, how to enslave them and oppress them. This is what he said about the bee industry, about the honey industry. He said, historically, beekeepers only took around 50% of the honey and left 50% as insulation for their hives, as food for them, you know, for their young. Now, stealing a little, by the way, doesn't make it okay. It's still theft. Then he went on to say, nowadays, beekeepers steal, he used the word steal, steal 100% of the honey and replace it with corn syrup and sugar syrup. Well, if you've been following the news for the last five to 10 years, five to 10 years, the bees are dying off, right? Bees are disappearing. What's happening to the bees? Well, there's a few things maybe we can look at. Pollution. Maybe they're suffering from all the pollution that we do to this planet. And when the bees start to go, we're not far behind. It is a warning sign. Uh, how about genetic modification? Maybe they're landing on plants and crops that have been altered and the cells are coming in in a different way, messing up, you know, their, 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 their brains, their, you know, their organs. But when I read that beekeepers are feeding bees high fructose corn syrup, and we're wondering why bees are dying off, you don't have to look any further. Look what high fructose corn syrup does to us. What do you think it does to them? And one more thing, too. This is such an unnatural product. Now, as I say this, I don't believe just because something is unnatural, I don't think that that makes it wrong, evil, or bad. Like, there are some raw vegans who claim that cooking food is evil. Now, listen, when you cook food, it's true, you cook out nutrients. Think about broccoli that you boil in water, and the water's green. I get that, but you haven't turned it into sludge, you just boiled out some nutrients, right? That's all it is, you just take it out some. 
But this is something that is unnatural. It's so bizarre. Because let's say you and I walk through the woods, not in, uh, not in uh, November. It was August. And I was smoking some purple diesel, some OG Kush. <laughs> and you're like, man, holy shit, Gary, there's a high. I'm here some honey. I'm going to be like, man, I'm going to jump in. Uh, okay, good luck, because I'm not going over there with you. Are you really going to walk up to the high and go, hey? You're going to get stung mercilessly. You never stick your hand in a beehive. So this does not belong in our diet whatsoever. Now, good news, just like I talked about the vegan burgers, the vegan ribs, and if you guys want a similar taste and texture of honey, agave, agave nectar. They sell it at every single grocery store. Uh, Yacon, Y-A-C-O-N, it's a root vegetable. They liquefy it, grind it up. It does the same thing as honey. And there's actually a rice honey that they're actually making from rice to mimic the taste and the texture. So keep in mind, you don't have to give up anything that you love to eat. When you become vegan, you just veganize everything. 